My name is Glenn Applebaum and I'm with Denison Yachting. We're in Charleston, South Carolina on a 2006 Hylus 54 named Gratitude. Gratitude is a center cockpit racer cruiser that is equipped for substantial blue water cruising. She has three staterooms and two heads and showers. We're going to begin today's walk through all the way forward at the bow. At the bow is the 88-pound Rockner stainless steel anchor, which is connected to the chain with a stainless steel swivel. Located on the bow is a double stainless steel roller, directly behind which is a stainless steel plate, which prevents chafe on the deck by the chain. Located directly behind the chain locker is the sail locker, which goes down and tucks underneath the chain locker. Moving aft, we're now standing at the mast. The mast is a saldine, which is anodized, and the mainsail is controlled electrically. The motor is located just under the main. All of the standing rigging has stay locks. This mast also has running backstays. All the portholes and hatches throughout the vessel are stainless steel. All the fair leads leading to the cleats are stainless steel as well. For now, we're gonna skip the cockpit and take a look at the stern. There is a 10-foot AB dinghy hanging in the electric Simpson Lawrence davits. There is also a manual davit for the tender's outboard motor. There are steps off the transom, which makes boarding the boat very easy from a dinghy. Gratitude is equipped for satellite TV, which it receives through a KVH dome. On both port and starboard are two seats located in the pushpit. The life raft is located on the starboard side in a stainless steel bracket. Moving forward, let's take a look at the cockpit. The entire cockpit is enclosed. The dodger is located directly above the companionway and the bimini covers the cockpit. The two are connected with an isinglass window. One of the most important features of this boat is the fact that it can be sailed from the cockpit. All the lines are laid back into the cockpit, the winches are inboard, and because of the isinglass enclosure, the boat can be sailed comfortably in inclement weather. Let's take a moment and we'll break down the winches found in the cockpit. The main sheet winch is located directly behind the helmsman. To port and starboard, there are two winches on either side. The two aft winches are primaries and are electric. They are used for the jib sheets. The two winches located forward of the two primaries are the secondaries, which are used primarily for furling lines. In the center of the cockpit is a pedestal, which has all the instruments required for navigation and control. Located on the pedestal is a Raymarine Hybrid Touch GPS chart plotter radar, as well as a sonar. There is also an autopilot located in the cockpit. Located above the companionway are the wind speed and depth instruments. The cockpit will comfortably seat six people. There is a custom-built cockpit table that is located on the pedestal. Access to the interior is via the companionway. At the base of the stairs, we step forward into the salon. The nav station is located on the port side. One of the most appealing features of the NAS station is the custom-built swivel chair that is put away when not in use. The main breaker panel is located on the aft bulkhead. As I open the breaker panel, note the point-to-point -point wiring and the labeling. 
At the nav station, there is an instrumentation board with all the electronics mounted on the board. On the top left corner is the control panel for the water maker. Located in the middle of the panel is the Ray Marine Hybrid Touch, which is a GPS chart plotter and radar. To the right of that is the stereo system. Located at the bottom of the panel, on the left-hand side is an ICOM VHF. In the middle is the speaker, and on the right-hand side is an ICOM single sideband. Located on the port side is the dinette with an L-shaped settee and a hardwood table. The salon table can pivot very easily and can be enlarged with a leaf. Located above the dinette is the TV. Located to starboard opposite the dinette is the settee. This locker above the settee is designated for bottle storage. From here we're going to move forward and check out two of the three staterooms on board. On the port side is a single berth stateroom with a surprising amount of storage. Moving forward is the guest stateroom with a centerline queen berth. This stateroom has private access to the guest head. Now we're going to move aft toward the galley. On the starboard side, longitudinally, you have an ice maker and a front and top loading fridge and freezer. Also found in the galley is a convection microwave oven, as well as a gimbal three burner force 10 stove and oven. Located opposite the ice maker midships is a stainless steel sink, as well as a seagull filtered water tap. Below the sink is engine room access, which we will get back to at the end of this walkthrough. Aft of the galley is the master stateroom, which has a centerline king berth. On the starboard side is a vanity. Above the berth is an escape hatch, which also brings in light. Forward of the berth is a hanging locker. The master stateroom also features an ensuite. The washer-dryer is located above the seat in the shower. We're going to end today's walkthrough by taking a look at the engine room. The engine room is accessed on three sides in the salon area. Gratitude is powered by a single 125 horsepower Yanmar diesel. On behalf of Dennis and Yadding and myself, I'd like to thank you for joining me on this walkthrough through gratitude. If you have any questions or would like to schedule a viewing, please contact me at any time.